First time. Watch. New York. 20 million people strong. No, we don't all look the same. We don't all sound the same either. But when we pull together, we do the biggest things in the world. So when some say we can solve America's problems by building walls, banning people based on their religion, and turning against each other, well, this is New York, and we know better. Joining me now, Kevin Jackson, Fox News contributor and executive director of TheBlackSphere.net, and Lisa Durden, who's a political commentator. Great to see you both. Thank you. So, first of all, Lisa, let me start with you. Why do you think that Hillary Clinton is going after tr Trump now in New York State? Well, Megan, I'm glad we're talking about your favorite person, Donald Trump. I thought you <laughs> meant you. <laughs> It's about time that Hillary Clinton came out swinging to expose Donald Trump for the violent, sexist, racist that this man is. He's very angry. He's very hateful. He's very resentful. And I'm going to be honest with you. Trigger-happy candidates like Donald Trump don't belong in the White House and should never be anywhere near the White House. Ain't nobody got time for that. We really don't. I don't know. Trigger-happy, happy. as Donald Trump points out, Kevin, he says, I'm the one who wants to get us out of these wars. I, I'm not... He says, I'm not trigger happy. Well, I find it interesting. I would ask Lisa, when did Trump become a racist? Because when he was just on the Celebrity Apprentice, I wasn't hearing anything from her or anybody else talking about his racism. But the real irony here, Megan, is very simple. Hillary Clinton has actually said of Robert Byrd, a member of the Ku Klux Klan, that he was her friend and mentor. Hillary now, Clinton let, has wait, received let's just, an let's award. just clear up the record on Robert Byrd. That <laughs> exactly. was when he was like a child and he went on to renounce his time in the KKK, which was about 18 that, months that's, long. That's absolutely and ridiculous. And he spent a lifetime saying that's, that's 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 Hang on a second. Is, hang on a second. That's so that's absolutely, we want to see Donald Trump on television on The Apprentice, not the White House. Look, I'm not going to shout over you. I'm not going to shout over you. Here's what I will tell you. Robert Byrd was in the Klan in the mid-40s, and he renounced the Klan in the 1980s. Now, if you think that's tangential or anecdotal, I disagree. The people that he hurt in his career, the black folks, and, and who knows how many there were, the Democrat. it's really funny to me that the Democrats are so quick to just pass over the past of a guy like Robert Byrd. And my second point is this. Hillary Clinton received the Margaret Sanger Award. This is a woman who started an organization called Planned Parenthood, and that woman called black people human weeds. And, hu and Hillary Clinton says she was her idol. Now, look, if, D if Donald Trump had, had, had openly endorsed a member of the Klan and was part of an organization that said that about, that, that he accepted an award from, what would we be talking about now? Go ahead, Lisa. First of all, it's interesting that you said when the, the, the Ku Klux can't clan in the denouncement. Okay, so would you say that when a person's been arrested, when they were 40 years 25 in the clan, Lisa. for being a child molester, should you say, well, they were once a child molester, they shouldn't register 40 as a sex years in offender. the clan, Lisa. So you want to still be aligned with a once child molester? That's the same difference. So you cannot hold... Oh, so, so now, now, we've, now we've migrated from racism to child molester. That Can actually you is point? worse. I'm Hold asking on. you a very well, simple let me just, question. Let me just ask Hillary you to reset Clinton, this. Because Hillary Clinton Kelly is the racist. Let Megan Kelly oh. ask me the questions, not oh. you. She's the host. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Okay, good. So, you're welcome. Uh, help, help. All right, so here's what I want to ask you, because Trump's obviously taken a lot of incoming on his treatment of, of minorities, his statements about it, minorities, his statement about women. He had, a lovely mo he had a lovely moment on the campaign trail. I think it was yesterday. And it showed a softer side of Donald Trump. And, and we don't often get to see that. He's always the tough, brash guy. I want to show it to you mm -hmm. and ask you whether you think this, this changes the dynamic in this race at all. Watch. I just want to say thank you. You saved me in so many ways. And in recent years, um, I've been struggling um, with an incurable illness. And I'm on home care now. And in those days, in the hospital, I received from you a handwritten letter that said to the bravest woman I know, I'm here right now to thank you in person, and that was my biggest dream. Aww. 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 Kevin, I mean, it was a, it mm -hmm. was a lovely moment with the, uh, the woman who was Miss Wisconsin. Um, and you could hear her choked up about how Trump had helped her in her life. 
Look, at the end of the day, Megan, Trump, the only thing Trump did to become a racist for the Democrats was to strap an R behind his name and say Republican. But this isn't so much about racism. It's, more, about, it's, it's about, you know, his, his well, humanity, the, which gets his, called his, into his question because of really some of the more about, incendiary It's really comments. about Donald Trump's he, bullying. So Donald Trump wait, is wait, a bully. Wait, wait, wait. So I'll get, wait, at least I'll give you the floor, but I want to yeah, get okay, Kevin's thought. Yeah. So I've also heard Trump was the guy that sent Tamarisi money when he got him out of when he got out of jail for the Mexican prison. Mm -hmm. Look, there are many things Trump's probably done very well. But what and, and we can talk about this and debate it. Trump did not become a racist suddenly until he became a Republican. But Hillary Clinton could be in a, a Confederate flag pantsuit with a Nazi button, and Lisa would still support oh, it. Lisa, Absolutely God. not true. <laughs> you gotta give that's kind of funny. You went just there, the Kevin, what? what? You got you, you got some real gold nuggets every time we meet each other. <laughs> Donald Trump is <laughs> Donald Trump. You know you want to know when he became a racist when he was born, and what happened is when he <laughs> ran happened in the crib wow, when he was early. born. Donald he's a Trump white man. running for the Oval Office. Uh, show us what he always has been. We didn't see it on The Apprentice because that's entertainment. Da -da -ba. But now we're seeing what has <laughs> always been there. He wants to put walls up sure. to keep Mexicans out, and he wants to racially profile Muslims. Why don't you racially profile Catholic priests and all the Catholics because priests are raping children? Are oh, you going to racially profile well, well, hey, Lisa. all the oh, white well, I think the Catholic hey, Lisa. priests oh, and Robert Byrne have taken a beating hey, in this segment. Hey, I'm going to leave it at that. Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Kevin, uh, Lisa. All right. To Kevin, be continued. <laughs> Well, to her, he was James.